Special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll go ahead and build the Boeing KC-135R Strato Tanker. The Boeing KC-135 Strato Tanker is a military aerial refueling aircraft that was developed from the Boeing 36780 prototype, alongside the Boeing 707 airliner. It was the predominant variant of the C-135 Strato Lifter family of transport aircraft. The KC-135 was the U.S. Air Force's first jet-powered refueling tanker and replaced the KC-97 Strato Freighter. The KC-135 was initially tasked with refueling strategic bombers, but it was used extensively in the, the Vietnam War and later conflicts such as Operation Desert Storm to extend the range and endurance of U.S. tactical fighters and bombers. The KC-135 entered service in the United States Air Force in 1957 and is one of six military fixed-wing aircraft with over 50 years of continuous service, with its original operator. The KC-135 is supplemented by the larger KC-10. Studies have concluded that many of the aircraft could be flown until 2030, although maintenance costs have greatly increased. The KC-135 is to be partially replaced by the Boeing KC-46 Pegasus. So yeah, the KC-135 Strato Tanker, the one we have in front of us, is the R variant, which is one of the more recent uh, upgrades to the uh, KC-135 to keep it more of a prominent aircraft and to keep it um, still in service and stuff like that with the, Air F the United States Air Force and able to continue to fulfill its mission role. Uh, overall, pretty interesting aircraft. It will be our third uh, U.S. air tanker we have um, done a tutorial for. Uh, we, there's being the KC-46 and the KC-10. So, uh, nice to see an aerial refueler and to kind of continue to bolster our fleet here of uh, American kind of support aircraft. Uh, but before we go ahead and get started, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions where you can go to pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request to your choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel and is really greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to check that out if you are interested. With that though, let's go ahead and take a look here at the aircraft. To begin with, we have two versions of the aircraft, obviously, with the landed and in-flight versions for you guys, so you'll be able to just pick and choose what you guys want to have. Uh, we also have two options available for the boom arm. Uh, one has the boom arm extended, and the other one has the boom arm raised. So you do have the two playability features with it, where you can go ahead and choose whether or not you want to have the arm extended for uh, refueling, or if you want to have the arm uh, retracted. Just note that if you do build the landed version, uh, you will have to have the arm retracted as the arm extends too far down to actually sit on the ground level and plus when it's ever it's on the ground it is brought up and uh, stored or basically brought up all the way like that on the back of the aircraft there uh, but yeah the inflate version obviously you have the options to have it extended or have it brought up so you do have both options for that one uh, but pretty cool landed version here you have the landing gear obviously uh, pretty straightforward landing gear nothing too fancy I'm going to go and spend too much time on but we have the nose here of the KC-135, uh, kind of a like, weird, interesting nose where it kind of is more narrow at the bottom and kind of uh, pops out when it rounds around the top there. Uh, but pretty nice nose all, all over. Uh, some of the block uh, choices here are a little outdated because this is a model that I've actually had designed for a little bit of time. So we will be making some changes here and there to some of the materials used as we did not have access to them back when this was originally built. So uh, those will be changed a little bit. Uh, but yeah, overall, really nice design for the um, aircraft. All the various little details, the doors. Obviously, US Air Force were on the side there. We have the tail here for the aircraft, which uh, for some reason is only on one side, but AMC here, which uh, stands for the Air Mobility Command, which basically operates and uh, maintains all of the um, Basically, the KC-135s are just really all um, aerial refuelers and a lot of uh, heavy lifter uh, aircraft. And we have the tail flash here, red, which is most likely based out of Charleston, um, where uh, I believe one of those bases over there on the East Coast. I know that they have the red tail flash, and it's kind of iconic for those. Uh, maybe McGuire also. But yeah, that right there is going to basically cover uh, what we have there for the KC-135, where we're going ahead and building. And uh, with this, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, go ahead and move into our first layer here. We'll be going ahead and start off with layer number 3. Now we're we'll starting with layer 3 because it gives us a better basis for the aircraft kind of established. And it's kind of easier for us to go ahead and go from this layer and add on to layers 1 and 2 from this point here. A few things I want to mention before we go ahead and move into the tutorial. And these are very important. 
If you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, I really like to structure these tutorials, especially for my large ones, as I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is rebuilding the center line of the aircraft on camera, and then the entire right side. It'll be up to you guys then to take the right side and copy it across, basically mirror it across that center line, and build the left side uh, basically in between layers. It's uh, pretty straightforward, and once we kind of get for the first few layers, it's going to make a little bit more sense. But the aircraft is completely symmetrical, so whatever we do on one side, will be done on the other side. So uh, it just helps kind of cut down tutorial time. There's no point in covering the same thing twice if it's the same thing on both sides. And I feel like it's a lot easier just to kind of look at one side, build it over, instead of just trying to follow along. Um, at least in my opinion. So hopefully uh, everything goes well for you guys. This is a larger plane, so just do be prepared that it is going to be a little bit more difficult and it will be a little bit more challenging. There's plenty of room to make errors, so just make sure you're paying close attention and all your measurements are good. Also, in addition, if you do want to build the landed version, we're going to be going ahead and adding the land gear on at the end of the tutorial as a modification or an add-on to the to the aircraft. So just to make sure that you have this placed correctly so that we, when we do go back and add the landing gear, you have enough space. Make sure that your uh, aircraft here is two full blocks up from the ground level. You can see here layer three here is two full blocks from our ground level. Very important. If that is uh, obviously off by a block, your aircraft is not going to sit properly. So just make sure that, that is all good to go in what you're for sure. You have enough clearance and you're ready for it then uh, go ahead and get started with the slayer anyways let's get started first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a stone full block come off the stone full block toward the front we're going to place down a stone upside down stair two stone top slabs and then an iron trap door on the end there going back from the stone block we're going to place down one two three four five and six stone blocks followed by one two three four five six and seven yellow concrete blocks after that, we're going to then switch back to our stone blocks, and we're going to place down a row of stone blocks. That's going to go ahead and go back a total of 19 down the center. Then we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 yellow concrete blocks. I'm just going to double check my count here. And it is 10. We're going to go then place down three birchwood top slabs, followed by a birchwood trapdoor, and then 1, 2, 3, and 4 stone top slabs, and then an iron trapdoor on the end of that row of four stone top slabs. And that right there is going to make the center line there of our aircraft, and we're going to go and start working our way out to the sides now. Going to the stone top slab in the front here, we're going to place our iron trap door to the side of it, and we then want to go ahead and go back with two stone top slabs, one, two, along the sides there like so. At this point, we're going to go and then grab stone stairs, and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six stone upside down stairs. At this point here, we're going to go and then grab some polished blackstone, and we're going to take our polished blackstone and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five uh, regular polished blackstone stairs. And then we're going to place down a upside down cornered stair, just like that in the uh, section like so. After that, we're going to go then take our stone blocks. We're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, and twenty-two stone full blocks back. At this point here, we're going to go then place down a stone upside down stair like this, and then we're going to place down a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and, or basically 7 regular stairs, so this stair is going to be a corner stair, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 coming off of it, and then another corner stair coming off this one right here next to this yellow concrete block. After that, we're going to go then place down two stone top slabs back, skip back to our stone top slabs here, we're going to place down an iron trap door two stone top slabs going back and two iron trap doors like so after that going ahead and continuing out to the sides here uh, we want to go ahead and grab our iron trap doors and place down an iron trap door here come off this stone full block followed by a stone top slab and then we're going to place down a row of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen uh, 16 and 17 stone full blocks back and then after we get that done we're going to then place down one and two stone top slabs back after that going back up to the front here coming off the side of this stone full block we're going to place down a stone top slab like so and we just want to go and go back from with our top slabs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen stone top slabs back then one two three iron trap doors going to the side here again another iron trap door coming off this stone top slab and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, stone top slabs back, and then 1, 2, and 3, iron trap doors. Also in this section here, we'll just place down an iron trap door right in that section just for the sake of consistency. Just kind of make that flow a little bit better right in that section there. 
Uh, but anyways, continuing out to the side, we're going to then place down two iron trap doors here, cut off those two stone top slabs, and then a row of one, two, three, four, and five stone top slabs, and then one and two iron trap doors. Out to the side here on our first four stone top slabs, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four iron trap doors like that up to the side. And once we have that all complete there, um, that right there is going to pretty much wrap up for our fuselage section of the tutorial. Uh, or basically the first fuselage section here for layer number three. Looking at from above here, this we should have for the top down view for the aircraft. At this point here, we're going to now go ahead and start to work our way out to our engines. Best way for us to go ahead and get started with is to go ahead and go to this iron trap door and count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven spaces to the side. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We then want to place down a andesite wall, and then one andesite wall going forward from that. We're going to go then place down a row of four, one, two, three, and four, andesite walls going back the opposite direction. So it should look something like this here on the end. Uh, we then would like to go ahead and grab ourselves some black concrete, as we'll be going ahead and kneading this. And for this section here, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to our third wall from the front. So this wall here, we're going to place down three black concrete blocks over, followed by an iron bar in front of it, black concrete, and then another iron bar like so. Now coming off that black concrete, we are going to be going ahead and placing down a wither skeleton skull like this toward the front. And then over here to the side, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three andesite walls, and then one, two, and three going back the opposite direction. We're going to go ahead and take our stone full blocks, we're going to place down one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, so three rows of three for the engine there. At this point here, uh, we can go ahead and then take our black concrete, just place down a row of three of black concrete across, and on the ends of those black concrete blocks, we want to go and then grab a um, virtual trap door. And we're just going to place down a virtual trap door on the sides there of those blocks. After that, uh, we then want to go ahead and place down another black concrete block here in the center. This time, however, we're going to go ahead and place skip space and then place down our virtual trap door like this to the side. Same thing over here. So it looks like this here on the back. And we then want to go ahead and place down a row of polished blackstone walls. So we're going to go ahead and grab those in our create a menu. So we're going to place down a row of polished blackstone walls. One and two going back. Virtual trap doors on the side here of this wall like that. And then just on the very end here a wither skeleton skull like so. And that right there will basically make our inner engines and that will be the same design there on both sides. At this point here, going ahead and moving into our uh, outer engines, we're going to be going ahead and going to this narrow brick wall here, or this polished blackstone wall in the end. We're going to cut out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 blocks out to the side here. We're going to go ahead and just double check our count here, and it should be 11 blocks out to the side. So over here, same thing. Count from this wall, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then at this point, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone stair like this, followed by a second stair going back from it. We then want to go ahead and take our black concrete, and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two, or sorry, a row of three of black concrete across, and on this side here, two stone stairs like that going forward, like that. Now also, uh, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves an iron bar and place it down in the middle section here. If you are on console edition, we can go ahead and use our debug stick here to go ahead and change the directions here of the iron bar so it's fits all the way across and connects to those stairs. If you do not have access to a debug stick, I would recommend trying to uh, find some other alternative here for the iron bar, maybe putting stone full blocks here instead of these stairs to help it connect to those. Uh, whatever you can do to make this work, but we want the iron bar to kind of go ahead and connect to both sides. But on Java, we have the luxury of the debug stick, which allows us to kind of make it look force connect to those stairs. Uh, but anyways, at this point here, uh, we then want to go ahead and grab an andesite wall. We're going to place it down on the sides here of those black concrete blocks, as well as a row of three going back from that black concrete. And then an andesite wall again on both sides. We then want to go ahead and place down another row of three of stone full blocks across. And then at this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of stone upside down stairs along the side here. So one, two, three, and one, two, and three. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone block in the middle between the first two stairs, then a black concrete block between the middle ones, and then at this point here, uh, we're just going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door, come off this black concrete block, and then an iron trap door located in this spot, just like that there, to go ahead and make those um, make our outer engines. So look at the top-down view, this is what that those outer engines look like, then you have your inner ones, and then obviously the overall view is what should look like, like this. At this point also, you can go ahead and remove any... Uh, basically blocks you use to count up to the sides here 
we will not be needing these markers any further throughout the rest of the tutorial so we can just go ahead and delete them as needed um, just like this between our engines. So looking at a top down view this is what your layer should look like once you take the right side copied over to the left side. With that though that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer number three and with that we're going to drop down to layers one and two. Alright guys moving into our next layers we have layers one and two. These layers here are pretty simple layers and really just going to be add-ons to the bottom here of layer number three. So to go ahead and get started with here we're going to be going ahead and going to the bottom of our aircraft. We're going to go ahead and basically start off by going ahead and going to our stone blocks that we have on the bottom here. So this uh, first stone block here, we're going to count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and our 7th stone block back, we're going to go ahead and be placing down a lever on the bottom of it. Actually, sorry, it's going to be our 6th stone block back. So 6 stone blocks back, we're going to go ahead and place down a lever. It's basically the second to last stone block before we have this yellow concrete there. So the lever that kind of flicks down and just hangs down like so. We then want to go ahead and go to our second concrete block, yellow concrete block from the front, and we're also going to place down another lever. That flicks down just like that, so pretty simple. At this point, we want to go then go to our stone uh, blocks here, and we're just going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Birchwood trap doors along the bottom there, so just kind of in line with our yellow concrete, just on the bottom there of those stone blocks. Then to the sides of the second birchwood trap doors from the front, we're going to place down iron trap door. And back from the iron trap door, we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 for a total of 16 iron trap doors right on the sides there of those birchwood trap doors. And that's all we have to do there for the bottom. Now, after we get to this point, we're going to now start moving into the engines. So the engines here do have a little bit more going on for them. Uh, so let's go ahead and kind of dive into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be going ahead and go into these engines. We're going to go ahead and basically replicate the same thing that we did for uh, the other engines, just on the bottom here. So for these, we're going to be going ahead and going to the bottom here of these iron bars. And we're just going to go ahead and place down two stone stairs like that. So kind of two stone stairs that drop down like so. And same thing over here, just like that. Now after we have that done, we want to go and then place down our black concrete. So our row three of black concrete across and then we're going to place down that iron bar in the center there using the debug stick we can use the same technique here where we uh, have it connect across there so whatever you did for the outer engines go ahead and do right there and then at this point uh, we're going to then take our anisite walls place them down to the sides here we're going to then place down our row three of stone full blocks anisite wall to both sides stone block in the center black concrete block going back like so and we actually sorry it's going to be a uh, second row of three of stone full blocks, so my bad. And then we're going to go and then place down our stone block in the center, and then our black concrete block, like so. We're going to go and then place down our iron trap door right here, and then our iron trap door on the bottom of this wall, or like that. And then after we have that done to the sides here, we're just going to take our stone stairs, place down one, two, and three upside down stairs, and same thing over here one, two, and three upside down stone stairs, like that, there for the bottom of that engine. Now we do have a little bit more to add on to the bottom of the engine here, and this real simply is going to be a stone top slab on the bottom on the bottom space here between those stairs, followed by a second stone top slab back, and then we're going to then place down a row of three of stone top slabs, followed by a second row of three across, then one stone top slab back from this point, and we're going to then take our iron trap doors, and we're just going to place down one, two, and three iron trap doors back like that. So that's going to be the very basis there of that engine and we're just going to do the same thing over here for our outer engines so stone top top slab second one back row of three a second row of three one stone top slab here and then one two three iron trap doors back like that so you kind of get a little bit of a better view of that especially if you're building a landed version um your engine does sit really close to the ground there so uh that right there is pretty much it for uh that for layers one and two pretty simple layers and pretty straightforward uh, with that though, we're going to be going ahead and moving in up to our next layer, which will be layer number four. Alright guys, so we're going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started for this, uh, we are going to go start by placing down a stone block on top of this iron trap door, followed by a second stone block coming off the toward the front, a polished black stone upside down stair, and then polished black stone top slab to go ahead and round up the front there for our nose. After that's done, we're going to then go to the rear of the aircraft here. We're going to start off by going ahead and placing down a stone block on top of this uh, birchwood trap door. Then one, two stone blocks going back, a black concrete block, two black stained glass full blocks. We're going to go and then skip two spaces, place down a stone top slab, and then an iron trap door like so. And that right there will basically make our center lines there on both sides there of the aircraft. 
After that's done, going back up to the front here, we're gonna place down a polished blackstone top slab coming off the side of the stair. We're gonna go then place down a stone upside down stair going back from it. Then one, two, three, and four stone blocks back. At this point right here, we do have a difference in the sides of our aircraft here, and this is really gonna kind of evolve around um, this section here. Now, uh, basically over here on the left side, we're gonna go ahead and have, after our four stone blocks, we're gonna have two polished andesite blocks. Come off the second polished andesite uh, block, we're gonna place down polished andesite top side, and then poop two polished andesite stairs back from it. Over here on the right side, it's gonna be the same structure, but we're just gonna go ahead and do it out of stone. Two stone uh, full blocks here, stone top slab, and then two stone upside down stairs, like that. So again, it's kind of going to be the same thing on both sides there, just a block choice a little bit different. This is basically showing a little door here that would be able to open on the aircraft. Um, that really is basically all that that is showing right there. Anyways, at this point here, we're going to go and then go to the sides. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four more stone stairs back. So we're going to go and switch back to stone stairs altogether. And this row right here is going to be a total of eight. So we have four already. We have five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to then switch to stone full blocks, and we're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and we're going to go to 24 stone full blocks back. At this point here, we're going to switch back to our stone stairs, and our stone upside down stairs are going to go ahead and go back a total of 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 stone upside down stairs back. And we then want to go ahead and place down a stone top slab, like so, and there are two stone ups down stairs, one, two, and then a narrow stone top slab like this going back, followed by an iron trap door. Now in the inside section here, we're going to go ahead and go uh, above this space that's opened up right here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, or sorry, just four stone blocks filled in that space there so we don't have any holes into the bottom of the aircraft, um, like that. And then we're going to then place down a black concrete block, followed by a black stained glass block, a upside down stone stair here to the side. Stone top slab coming off that stair and then an iron trap door like that. And that right there is gonna basically wrap up the back there of our aircraft, like so. And then at this point, uh, we're gonna basically start working out into the sides here, wings of our aircraft. Uh, now the wings here are actually fairly easy, I think, compared to other tutorials that I've done for aircraft. So we should really have a uh, decent time at going ahead and building this. Uh, but yeah, first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a stone slab on top of this iron trap door here. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a second stone slab back from that, followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, um, yeah, 15 stone blocks back, followed by a stone stair like this, and then an air stair coming off of it, so this one turns into a corn stair. We're going to go then place down an andesite wall like so followed by a light gray stained glass pane and then a skeleton skull like this if you have access to a debug stick we can use a debug stick here again to change the direction here of the pane so it faces toward the skeleton skull as well but it isn't really a priority to have that on the build um either just having the inside wall with just a normal glass pane really is not that big of a deal so it doesn't matter what version you're on uh, just go ahead and place the glass pane there anyway but if you are on java you have that extra little uh you know thing you can do there at this point here, though, we're going to go and then place down a stone slab here, come off this one, fall by a stone stair that's going to go back from that, so like this, and then out to the side from that stone stair, we're going to place down a polished black stone slab, then a stone full block behind the slab, and we can go ahead and also place a stone full block behind that stair, like so. We're going to go and then place down a slab, come off the side of this block, a narrow stone block back, and then after that, uh, we want to go and then place down a uh, stone slab back, or off the side of this stone block. And then we're going to then place down a stone full block behind that, so like so. A stone stair, come off the side of the block, a stone slab, and then a stone full block behind this slab like so. Then uh, once we get to this point, uh, we're going to be going ahead and taking our stone full blocks, and we're going to be going ahead and going back at an angle here, so back like this by one. And we then, after that stone full block, are going to go ahead and go back two and then out to the side here again for a row of five. So we're going to go back one like this and then out to the side row of five of stone full blocks like so. And then coming off that row of five uh, we are going to be going ahead and place down two stone full blocks here toward the front. So one two like that so we have the shaping like this so far for the wing. And then 
once we get to this point here, we're going to go and uh, drop back to one stone block. It's going to go in like this, and then we're going to go ahead and grab our polished ansite uh, again. And for this, very simply, we're going to go ahead and place down two polished ansite full blocks, and then a polished ansite slab there on the end. So, uh, pretty simple there, just kind of trying to draw the outline there for our, our wing there, or this area, I should say. Now, at this point, uh, we want to go and then place down a polished ansite slab over, then one forward, and then one full block. After that, we're going to go and then place down a full block coming off this one, and then a slab forward. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a row of two polished ansite blocks and an air slab like that. And then at this point, actually, sorry, my bad, this is going to be a row of two of slabs and then the full block like that. And then at this point, uh, we're going to then place down our two polished ansite slabs. So we have one, two here, and then a polished ansite full block, just like that. And at this point, uh, we want to go and then take a stone block. We're going to place down a stone block here, followed by two stone slabs coming off of it. So we'll go ahead and grab our slabs here. We're going to place down one, two, going back. And we're going to go then place down a stone block that's going to be coming off this slab here. And after that, we want to go and then place down, or actually, sorry, my bad, it's going to be coming off this stone block here. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone stair here, turn that into a corner stair, and follow up with a regular stair coming off of it, and then a stone slab back, and then a skeleton skull like so. At this point here, we have the outline here basically for our wing. We're going to go and then take stone blocks and just fill in the inside here with stone blocks. This right here is just going to go ahead and close this whole wing area off, and that's really all we needed to do for it. We don't need to anything more with this um, section here so just kind of fill it in and make it nice and solid like that so our section right there is all filled in now once we get to this point uh, we're going to then switch to our top slabs so from here on out we're going to be going ahead and working with top slabs now what we're going to do here is we're going to be going ahead and go into this section we're going to go to this stone full block we're going to place down one and two stone top slabs over just like that we then want to go ahead and go back with the top slab like this and then back again at an angle like that with an air top slab like so at this point here this is going to be a row of three back so three more back from this one so one two three and on the sides here we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one two and three iron trap doors after that uh coming off those three iron trap doors we're going to go and do a row of top slabs that's going to be one two three four five six back so over here out to the side we're going to go back one two three four five six and we then want to go ahead and place down two polished ansite top slabs, so one, two, on the end of that row. And then after that, we're going to then do a row of four. So we're going to go here, we're going to do, on the outside here, one, two, three, four stone top slabs. And we're going to then have our iron trap doors that are going to go forward. And this is going to be a row of one, two, three, four, and five iron trap doors forward, like so. After that, uh, we're going to then take our stone, our polished ansite top slabs, just the same. We're going to place down one from this one, like so. We're going to then place down a uh, row of two of top slabs, so one, two. And we're going to then place down a row of three. So it's going to be one, two, and three top slabs, just like that. And that right there is going to basically wrap uh, that up there for our flaps. And we can go and then fill this inside section in with top slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two. And then this whole section here is one, two, one, two. Now, uh, once we get to this section, we're going to start to work on our engine. So our inner engines here is going to be basically what we did for the bottom, just kind of flipped onto the top here. So we're going to start off by placing out a row of three of black concrete across that row there. A uh, iron bar on the middle block here, followed by a debug stick, which we're going to go ahead and basically set to the sides there, uh, change the direction of those. And then we're going to go ahead and just place down a stone upside down stair here. And actually, my bad, we should have uh, put those stairs and then change the direction here of it but again whatever you did for the bottom here to get this iron bar to connect just go ahead and do to the top here and we're just going to go ahead and then place down our upside down stone stairs going forward like so our row of three st of stone blocks across here and then our inside walls to both sides like that after we have that all done uh we're going to then place down a row of three of stone full blocks and we're going to then place down uh one two three stone full blocks here down the center and then three stone stairs like this along the sides there now after that uh, we then want to go and take our stone full box and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of four going down the center so we're going to go, ahead and go one two three four and then we're going to follow this up with a stone top slab just like that 
After that, we're just going to place down three iron trap doors, and then we're going to go and place down two iron trap doors to come off the last two, like that. So this basically right here is what it should look like here for uh, your wing, um, like that. You can see we did change the polished andesite from those stone uh, polish or those, um, yeah, I think they're polished stone slabs or smooth stone slabs actually. Sorry, um, just because I think the polished andesite blends in with the aircraft better, but still shows that distinction that those right there are the flaps of the aircraft. So that's why I changed that in case you are wondering. Um, just I think it's a design choice looks a little bit better uh, personally anyways at this point here we're going to then move to our outer engines our outer engines here are going to be basically replicating the same thing we did here for the middle layer for our engine so for this we're just going to place down two black concrete blocks here black concrete block on both sides of the um, both sides of the, of the second one back a wither skeleton skull and then iron bars here to the sides we're going to then place down the inside wall here and the one two and the side wall, walls forward just like that for the sides there of the engine we're going to then place down a row of three of stone full blocks and a side wall to both sides here. And again, a row of three, or two rows of three of stone full blocks and a side walls to the sides there. After we have that done, we're going to place down a narrow black concrete block here in the center, followed by a second one back like that. And then along the sides here, uh, we are going to be going ahead and place down a, a black concrete block here to both sides of the first one, a birchwood trap door on the sides here of that and we're going to go and just temporarily place a block in this space and place down a birchwood trap door coming off that as well uh, for the section here in the engine and then we can just delete those uh, blocks like that uh, we're going to then take our polished blocks to the walls we're going to place down one two down the center and then a birchwood trap door here to both sides of this wall just like that and then a wither skeleton skull coming off this um, wall just like that after that is all done right there, that's going to basically do it for our outer engine and what we have to do for that, looking at it from a top down view, this is what we should have with this layer, disregard the little difference there for the flaps there. Uh, but yeah, this is what it should look like from the top down view for the aircraft, pretty straightforward stuff, it isn't anything too complicated, but that right there is going to conclu conclude layer 4, and with that let's go ahead and move into layer number 5. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number 5. For layer 5, we go ahead and get started with here. We're going to go ahead and begin by going ahead and placing down a black concrete block that's going to come off this uh, polished black stone top side at an angle going up, and then a polished black stone top side coming off that black concrete block, like so, for the front. That right there is going to do it for the front. We're going to go ahead and move our way back to the back now. We're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a block of concrete on top of this black stained glass block, a second black concrete block back, and then a polished black stone wall after that. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone top slab a stone or stone full block followed by a second stone full block and then a third like that going back and that right there is going to do it for the rear center line and the front like so going back up to the front we're going to go and start working our way out to the sides to begin with we're going to place down a polished black stone wall here next to the black concrete block and our black concrete block back and then two coal ore blocks followed by one and two stone full blocks Coming off those stone full blocks, we're going to place down two andesite walls to the side and then we're going to follow this up with a row of two of stone upside down stairs so one and two, or sorry, actually just one stone upside down stair and then a stone full block. At this point here, depending on which side you're on the aircraft, you're going to go ahead and go to the left side. There's going to be four polished andesite blocks, so just directly up from those blocks that we placed from the previous layer. And then over here on the right side, it's just going to be four stone full blocks. So just like that there on both sides. Now at this point here, we're going to go ahead and then build two stone full blocks back on both sides. And right here we have another difference. Over here on the left side of the aircraft, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a row of eight of polished, or of, sorry, of stone brick uh, full blocks, like this going across, with stone buns on the two blocks on the ends. So just like that there, and this can be the large door that opens up on the side of the aircraft. Over here on the right side, we do not have that door, so it's just going to be a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stone full blocks. So just make sure you are tracking the two differences there on the sides of the aircraft. Uh, once we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and then take our stone blocks and place down one, two, three, four stone full blocks, and then we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of one, two, three of black concrete. Taking our stone full blocks again, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty stone full blocks back, uh, followed by another two, so thirty-one and thirty-two, like that, going back. We're going to go ahead and then place down a stone upside down stair on the end here. Or actually, sorry, it's going to be a stone uh, top slab, actually. So, my bad. Stone top slab, like so. And then an iron trap door, like this, coming off that stone top slab. Once you have that done on the insides here, we're going to go, and go to these last two stone full blocks. We're going to place down two of our andesite walls, like this. And then we're going to go, and go forward uh, one, 
two, uh, sorry, it's gonna be one stone top slab here. Actually, sorry, it's gonna be a stone upside down stair. So one stone upside down st stair there, followed by a stone full block in that space right there, and another stone full block right here in this space, and another stone full block here, and then a black concrete block over that uh, black stained glass. So this right here will kind of create the little observation uh, window there for the boom operator, uh, which we'll get to a little bit later. And this right here is where our boom is going to connect. Uh, we'll be saving the different boom types for the end of the video again for you to pick and choose what boom you want to put on it, whether it's the extended or the raised one. So we're going to save that for a little bit later. Uh, we will be returning back to the boom, but we're just going to leave it as a little stub there for right now. Now at this point, uh, we have basically the fuselage done, and what we're going to be doing now is going ahead and moving into our wings. So for our wings here, we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door on top of this stone block here. And we then want to go ahead and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, actually sorry, 11 stone slabs back, and then two iron trap doors after that. Then going back up to the front here, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 iron trap doors like that going back on the side there as well. And once we have that all done there, uh, we're going to go and start moving into doing our wings. One thing before we go ahead and move on to the wings I want to add on is that over here on the right side, in the right side of the aircraft only, we're going to go ahead and count from our back stone block. So we have this stone uh, top slab, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in our ninth stone block. We're going to go ahead and swap out with a black concrete block, and we're going to go ahead and replace the next two with black concrete as well. So it should look like something like that right there, and that's going to be another emergency, um, or I sh shouldn't say emergency, but just in their exit door uh, on the aircraft uh, located there on the tail section. It's only located on the right side and not the left side. So just make sure that that difference there is uh, taken note of. And again, our differences here in the front, just make sure that you are um, tracking those differences and not putting them on both sides. Um, not like it's that really big of a deal, but just... Uh, Especially on the back here, we do have a different design that goes on the left side. Up here in the front, it really doesn't matter, but we kind of want to make it sure it's as accurate as possible. Anyways, though, with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and move into our um, wings. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into the wings. To go ahead and get started for these, uh, we're going to be going ahead and going ahead, go into this section here. Best uh, place for them to start here is to go ahead and go to our third from last iron trap door. We're going to skip a space from the side here, and we're going to just place down an iron trap door like that, followed by one forward like so. We then want to go and do a row of four of iron trap doors like that, and then we're going to go and then do a row of six, like so. At this point, we're going to go then place down three stone slabs here, one, two, three, and then an iron trap door going toward the back, and then going toward the front, we're going to place down three iron trap doors, so one, two, three. Next row here, we're going to go and place down two iron trap doors in the front, and then a row of one, two, three, four, and five and six stone slabs back. Just like that. Next row is going to be one iron trap door on the front here, and then a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, stone slabs back. And our next row, again, an iron trap door on the front here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stone slabs back. Once we get to this point, we're going to go and then place down an iron trap door on top of this stone top slab here, and then we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and nine uh, stone slabs back. So just like that. Actually, my bad, it's going to be a polished inside slab. So one like that, so it's going to go eight back and then a polished inside slab there on the end. Once we have that done, uh, we're going to then take our stone top slabs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to go to the front here and we're going to go uh, to the side of the slab here. And we're going to have one two, three, four, five, and then we're going to have a row of two of stone stairs. Let me go ahead and just double check here. Two stone stairs, so one, one, two, then two stone slabs, and after those two stone slabs. All right, guys, continuing on with our wings, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and go to the second stone slab here. We're going to place down one, two, three uh, stone slabs, followed by one, two, three, four stone full blocks, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and then place down two stone slabs back, one, two, like that um, for uh, that section there. Going to continue out to the side here, we're going to go to the front of our engine actually, and we're going to place down a stone slab. It's going to be over the space in between these stairs here. We're going to then place down a second stone slab back, followed by a third, and then after a third here, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 
um, stone full blocks back like that. And then it's just going to be a, or actually, sorry, it's going to be one less or two less. So it's going to end, or just one less. It's going to end right here. And then it's going to be two stone slabs back uh, like that. And actually, it's going to be three stone slabs back. And this slab here is actually going to be replaced with a stone stair like that. So my apologies there. Uh, but yeah, just like that, stone stair and the two stone slabs that go back from that. We also want to go ahead and go to the sides here on top of the black concrete and the stone block that directly after. We're just going to place down two stone slabs on top of those like that. After that's uh, done there, we then want to go ahead and place down a uh, stone stair, which is going to be on the side here of this full block here. So right after our engine there. And then going back from that stone full block, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stone full blocks, followed by a stone slab here on the end. Our next row here is going to be a stone slab on the side here of the stair, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone full blocks back, a polished dancelight block, and then a polished dancelight slab. Next row is going to be another stone slab coming off this block here. And then it's going to be a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 stone blocks back. And we're going to go then place down uh, a polished dancelight full block and then a polished dancelight top slab coming off that full block. So just like that. Next uh, section out to the side here is going to be a stone top slab I believe right there so let me just go and double check here and yep it is gonna be a top slab so just like that we have our top slab and then we're going to go back one two three stone full blocks and then we're going to go with two stone top slabs and then two polished dance like top slabs like that on the end there next row we're gonna place down a stone top slab here then one two three four uh, back so you have a total of five there and actually it's gonna be a total of six so if I'm back from that one and we're going to then place down two polished dance like top slabs. Next row, we're going to go ahead and place down an iron trap door. Come off this one here. And we're going to go then place down one, two, three, four, five, six stone top slabs back. And then a polished dance like top slab like that. We're going to place down there iron trap door here. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six stone top slabs back. And then an air polished dance like top slab. And then after that, to the side here, two iron trap doors again. And then we're going to place down two stone top slabs and then we're going to then place down a row of one two three four iron trap doors next row here is going to be one two three four five iron trap doors and then one two like that on the side there so that right there will basically sum up your wing design this is what's going to look like there once you have that all complete for the time being now after that summer we're going to go ahead and now move into our engine here so our engine is going to be kind of using the same thing we did for this section here which is going to be a row of three of black concrete across this section here it's going to be a iron bar here in the center and then our two upside down stone stairs to the sides and just like before whatever technique you've used there uh, whether it's the debug stick or using the uh, full blocks there instead to get that iron bar to connect either one will work for this situation um, so just like that there to go and make that then we're going to place down a row of three of stone full blocks our two andesite walls here to the sides of those full blocks and then we're going to just go ahead and place down a row of uh, three of stone blocks going back, a stone block in the center, black concrete block here, and then one, two, three, stone stairs, one, two, and three. And at this point here, we're going to place down an iron trap door here, then one on top of this uh, wall, just like that. And uh, that right there will basically go ahead and get us uh, kind of started there for the top there of our engines, just double checking, make sure I'm not missing anything. And actually, uh, this is actually supposed to be the pylon here, so one sec. I'm going to go and double check over here real quick to see what I did. And uh, we are going to change that up just a tiny bit. So uh, instead of these two iron trap doors here, there's actually going to be a stone full block, followed by a second one, and then a stone top slab like that come off there for that engine pylon. So my bad on that one. Uh, just go ahead and do that right there. And once you have that all done right there, that's going to do it for our outer engine. And with that, that is going to complete uh, this layer all together. We can remove any markers, anything like that. And looking at it from the top down view, this is what it should look like once everything's transferred over to each side. With that though, that right there is going to conclude layer number uh, five. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to layer number six. All right guys, so going ahead and moving into our next layer here, we have layer number six. For layer six to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a polished black stone stair on top of that top slab there, followed by one, two, and three black concrete blocks. And that right there is going to make your front center line. 
Moving to the rear here, we're going to place down a stone full block on top of this polished black stone wall that we placed in the previous layer. And then going back here, we're going to go and go up from the stone block at an angle with a stone full block, then two more stone blocks back from it, and then a stone top side there on the very end to go ahead and uh, make that uh, center line there for the rear. At this point, we're going to go and move back up to the front and start working our way out to the sides. So coming off this first black concrete block, we're going to place down a polished black stone wall, then a black concrete block, followed by a stone stair, and then one and two stone full blocks back. Come off the side of these two full stone full blocks, we're going to place down two andesite walls, and then we're going to go and then place down a stone full block. Now coming off the side of that stone full block, we're going to go and grab a skeleton skull, and also an end rod. We're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off the side of the block, and then an end rod coming off that facing forward like so. We then want to go ahead and go back from the stone block, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And at this point right here, on the left side, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick block, and over here on the right side, it's going to be a narrow stone block. Both sides now, we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 stone blocks back. And we're going to then place down a stone brick block over here on the left side, and then a stone block over here on the right side. At this point here, on both sides, we're going to go back one, two, three, four stone blocks, a black concrete block, then a stone block, black concrete, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. And then over here on the left side, or sorry, the right side, it's going to be a black concrete block, and then it's going to be a stone block, and then another black concrete block. Over here on the left side, it's just going to be three stone blocks. Anyways, continuing on, it's just going to be a bit, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stone blocks back, uh, actually 11, and then we're going to then place down a stone top sub here on the end. After that, on the inside here, we're going to go next to the stone block, place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stone full blocks going forward, followed by a uh, st stone, uh, stone upside down stair, like this, and then a stone top sub like so there to go and wrap up the back there you can choose to fill the space in also with stone doesn't really matter um, but yeah that's basically what we want right there with that all set up for the back now at this point uh, we're going to go back up to the front and continue working our way out to the sides so for this we're going to go to our third block from front place down one two and three like recently west panes then one two three four andesite walls over here on the left side it's going to be a stone brick wall over here on the right side an andesite wall then on both sides here going back one, two, three, four, five, six andesite walls, and then again over here on the left side, a stone brick wall. Over here on the right side, a andesite wall. And then we're going to place down one, two, three, four andesite walls back on both sides, followed by a polished black stone uh, wall next to that black concrete one, andesite wall, and then there polished black stone wall like so. We're going to go then place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And 21. I'm gonna go and double check our count here for the walls, and uh, we do have 21 walls in total. Over here on the right side is gonna be a polished black stone wall, a andesite wall, and then a polished black stone wall like that. Over here on the left side, after those 21 andesite walls, it's gonna be a stone brick upside down stair, and the side wall, a stone brick upside down stair. Then on both sides, it's gonna be one, two, three, four andesite walls back, and then it's gonna be a row of one, two, three, like race stained west panes like that. That right there is going to basically uh, complete the fuselage for the aircraft. Um, so we have that all done there for this layer. And we're going to go ahead and again move our way out to our wings. Alright guys, so going ahead and getting started with our wings. Now our wings here are pretty uh, straightforward and will basically be almost the end of having to work on these things. So once we get done with the wings, it's going to be a lot smooth, more smooth sailing throughout the rest of the build. Uh, but anyways, for these to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go to this first section of polished andesite here for our second set of flaps. We're going to go ahead and place down two, or sorry, three iron trap doors going forward. Well guys, I realized I made a pretty big mistake here on the wings. This uh, wing is supposed to be shifted over basically one hole, or this section here is supposed to be one more block over. So basically what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to this section here. So right at uh, this section here, we're going to go and just delete all this here um, like this. And this whole tip of the wing here, we're just going to go ahead and delete. So uh, this right here is just going to have to be adjusted. Um, unfortunately, I miscounted somewhere along the process of building this uh, outer section and uh, because of that we kind of uh, had to pay the price here with uh, messing this up. And I do apologize um, for that mess up. But, you know, these things do happen with building complex builds like this. Uh, but basically what we need to do at this point here is we're going to place down a stone slab coming off this one here. 
then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone blocks back, followed by a polished andesite block, and then a polished andesite slab. Our next row here is going to be a stone slab coming off the side of this block here. And this is going to be one, two, three, uh, four, five, and six stone blocks back. And then we're going to go and follow this up with two stone top slabs, like so. Then our next row is going to be a stone slab coming off this block here. Then one, two, three stone blocks, one, two stone top slabs, and then two polished andesite top slabs. We then want to place down a stone top slab coming off this block here. Then one, two, three, four, five, and six stone top slabs back, and then two polished andesite top slabs. We're going to then go to the side here. We're going to place down a iron trap door. Then one, two, three, four, five, six stone top slabs, and then a polished andesite top slab. And we're going to then place down another iron trap door here. Then one, two, three, four, five uh, stone top slabs back like so actually sorry it's gonna be six like this and then a polish dance like top side like down the end then taking our iron trap doors and place down one two on the front here the one two and just two stone top slabs like that and then we're gonna then take our iron trap doors and go back one two three four next row here is gonna be a row of one two three four five and then we're gonna go and then do one two just like that on those two iron trap doors there and this right here is where our wing should now end it should be at this point here go ahead and make sure you make that change to both sides there again i do apologize for that mis mistake but as you know these kind of things do tend to happen from time to time uh, with that all out of the way though we can go ahead and resume uh, where we were working for layer number six all right guys so with that mistake corrected uh, we can go ahead and resume our engines uh, to go ahead and get started with here, uh, continuing on, we're going to then take our iron trap doors. We're going to do a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we want to go then do a row of 6. 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Like that going forward. So a quick adjustment we're going to make right here is we're actually going to turn this stone top slab here into a... Or uh, this stone slab into a top slab. And then we're going to change this stone slab into a stair. So it should look like this there for the front. And now at this point, we're going to then take our iron trap doors. We're going to go back one, two, and three on the side here, followed by a row two of stone slabs, and then a iron trap door here on the end. After that, we're going to place our iron trap door there in the front, and then one, two, three, four, and five stone slabs back. We're going to then place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and um, yeah, six uh, stone blocks back, and then an andesite slab like that on the end. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a stone slab here, then go back one, two, three, four, five, and then another polished andesite slab, like that. And we do want to make sure that the stone top slabs underneath here, we do change if there's an andesite block above it, because those are still kind of part of the flap. So we're just going to go ahead and replace those two stone top slabs there with our polished andesite like that, just to go ahead and continue that flap um, design there for the whole entire entirety of the wing. Um, at this point, we're going to go ahead and then place down another row of stone slabs, so one, two, three four five and six stone uh top slabs back and then or sorry slabs back and then two andesite slabs there on the end our next row here is going to be a stone slab here one two three four uh back from it and then again two polished andesite slabs like that next row uh stone slab here then one and two stone slabs back followed by two stone full blocks right here and then two polished andesite slabs like so going back um, at this point, we're going to go then place down a stone slab up here in the front. So one right here, come off this one. And we're going to then go back a second one. And then we're going to go and place down a row of one, two, three, and four stone blocks. And then a polished andesite slab like that. Then uh, for our engine here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone slab on top here between these stairs, followed by a second stone slab and then a third. And then we're going to then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stone uh full blocks back and then a stone top slab here on the very end so just like that and then at this point uh we want to go and then switch to our stone top slabs and we're going to go from this one here we're going to go ahead and count forward uh one two three four five six seven uh with our top slabs like that going forward actually sorry it's gonna be only six forward from it or actually five forward so you have a total of six and then we're going to go from the second one, one, two, three, four, five, and six back. So just like that. We're going to then place down one, two, uh, three, four, 
and five stone top slabs. We then want to place down a iron trap door here in the front, followed by two stone top slabs, and then two iron trap doors. And we're going to then place down a row of one, two, three, four iron trap doors, and then uh, basically two that are going to come off these two like that out to the side there. Um, for the wing, kind of continue our, our shaping like that out to the side there. And anyways, that right there will basically conclude what we have there for um, the outer portion there of the wing. And uh, yeah, that right there is pretty much it for this layer. Take a look at from above here. This is what it should look like uh, both sides. And once we have obviously that converted and stuff like that, you'll be pretty much good to go for the edge of the wing. Anyways, though, that right there is going to wrap up what we have there for uh, layer number uh, two there. Or sorry, layer, layer number two, layer number six. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to layer number seven. All right, guys, so at this point here, we're going to then place down a stone uh, top slab also coming off this one. So it's going to be just like this here. So like that. We then want to go into the sides here and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stone top slabs going forward. After that, we're going to then place down a row of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then for this row here, we're going to go to the second one. Uh, stone top slab to the side there from the front. We're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, and six like that back. After we have that done, uh, we want to go and then place down um, a iron trap door here in the front, and then we're going to place down a uh, row of one, two, and three stone top slabs, and then it's going to be a iron trap door here on the end. Then uh, we want to go and take our iron trap doors, and we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five across, and actually it's going to be. Um, five like this so one more back and one like down the front there so it looks like this and then one two three four and then it's going to be one two like that out to the side there so it should look like something like this here from the top down view you're going to take what we did on the right side there copy it over to the, to the left side and once you have that all done that's going to pretty much wrap up what we have for that and uh, that right there will conclude layer number six and with that we'll go ahead and move into layer number seven all right guys go ahead and move into our next layer here we have layer number seven for layer seven to go ahead and get started one thing i might have also said is that another brick stair should be on the front here that's not the case it should be a polished black stone stair i'm not sure uh either way but when i went back and was doing this layer i realized there's a narrow brick stair still there so either way just make sure this is a polished black stone stair there on the tip but after we're done with that on top of the black concrete block directly after we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door a polished black stone slab and then a black concrete block and that right there is going to do it for our front nose center line moving to our rear we're just going to go ahead and go up from this stone top slab at an angle we're going to place down a stone full block and then two stone top slabs to go back from that stone full block with that done going back up to the front here we're going to start working our way out to the sides we're going to place down a wither skeleton squad a slight angle right down on top of those black concrete blocks a polished black stone stair back two black concrete blocks and then a stone block like so to the side here, the black concrete blocks are going to place down two black stained glass panes, followed by an andesite wall after that, and then one, two, and three stone blocks. We're going to go then place down two andesite walls there on the side of these last two blocks, like so. And uh, actually, we're going to go ahead and uh, also place down a light gray stained glass pane here. So, light gray stained glass pane here to both sides, and this andesite wall here, we're going to swap out for a stone full block on both sides. So, it should look something like that there for the front. After that though, uh, going back from the inside walls, we're going to go ahead and take our stone full blocks and we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five. And at this point, over here on the left side, it's going to be a stone brick block. So it uh, should be right here on top of this stone brick wall, which you can't quite see because of the banner in the way, but there's a stone brick wall right there. So it should be right on top of that. Um, and then over here on this side, it's going to be a stone block. And on both sides here, it's just going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks back. Uh, space, and then over here on the left side, again, a stone brick block right there kind of in line with our um, door there and the right side here just a stone block after this, this point here both sides one two three four stone blocks back followed by a black concrete block here a stone block and then a narrow black concrete block like that then on both sides here again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty stone blocks back over here, after those 20 stone blocks, on the left side is going to be a stone brick block, followed by a black concrete block with a stone button, which should be on top of this this um, stone brick upside down stair. Another stone brick block, another black concrete block with a stone button, and another stone brick block like that over here on the left side and left side only. On the right side here, just very simply, a stone block, a black concrete block, a stone block, and a black concrete block like that along the side there. And then taking our stone blocks, uh, to be another stone block here. And then on both sides, go ahead and continue on, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four stone blocks like so. 
We then want to place down a row of one, two, three of andesite walls. And then uh, we're going to take our uh, light gray stainless panes and we're going to go one, two, and uh, we're actually going to go actually just do two andesite walls and then three light gray stainless panes there. On the inside here of the glass panes, we're going to place down one, two, three stone full blocks and also on the inside here of the walls, so you have a total of five, five like that. And then we want to go and go back one, two stone blocks like that overhanging, followed by two andesite walls. And then one and two like racing West panes going back like so. We're going to then take our stone blocks, one, two, three, four, on the inside here, followed by a stone upside down stair, and then a stone top slab like that going toward the rear there. And once we have that done, you're just going to take what we do over here on the right side, copy it over to the left side, and you'll be good to go for your fuselage. Just make sure you take note of the differences here with this section here, and also this section up here. After that's all done though, that right there is going to cover our fuselage for this layer. Um, one thing also to mention is the addition of the US Air Force written on the side of the aircraft. Now this here is going to be using a combination of, we're going to need a U, a little dot uh, banner like this, a S, there one of those dot banners, and then A-I-R-F-O-R-C-E, obviously it's spelled Air Force. I'm not going to cover in this tutorial how to go ahead and make these banners exactly as it would take a lot of time to actually go ahead and do every single one of these banners. So the best thing for you guys to do here is to go ahead and uh, try to look at a uh, tutorial online that will offer you guys the um, basically way to make these banners if you do not know how to make these banners already. But very simply they're positioned here on this stone block and you can see on the left side here it's positioned U dot S dot space A I R space F O R C E for US Air Force. Over here on the right side it's going to be reading left to right so we're going to go ahead and basically place down our E followed by our C uh, O or sorry R O F so you have force there we're going to skip a space then we have R I A and we're going to then grab ourselves our little period here skip a space period S period U so like that so it leads, reads left to right over here on the on this side so you can see where it starts and where it ends like that and then over here on the left side of the aircraft it reads left to right obviously like that so just make sure it's done properly on both sides there so that you uh, have that design there on the sides there and again there are plenty of tutorials out there that do cover um, making those banners um, in uh, for whatever you need but yeah just like gray banners and black writing and you're pretty much good to go anyways that right there is going to wrap up what we had there for the fuselage let's go ahead and move on to the final part of our wings all right guys so going ahead and moving to our wing tips this right here is going to be the final part of doing the wings for this aircraft so uh we have a big sign of relief or almost done with the wings um thank goodness uh but yeah let's go ahead and uh jump into this so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be going ahead and going to this last row of solid stone top slabs and we're just gonna go ahead and start from the first first one here we're gonna go ahead and place down one two three four five iron trap doors then going over to the side here we're going to place down a row of one two three and then a row of one two so going toward the aircraft like so then go back up to the outside here we're gonna place down two iron trap doors and then two stone slabs just like that and then on top of this um, this iron trap door here, we'll just place down a stone pressure plate. At this point here, we're going to take our stone slabs. We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then a second row, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then after that second row, we're going to go ahead and indent from the front. So we're going to place down a stone slab here. Then 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, back like so. And we want to go and then place down a uh, row of four one two three four and then a row of one two and three like that on the very outside like so to go ahead and make our wing tips like that so it should look like look it should look something like this here from the top down view and you're just going to go ahead and basically um do that to both sides there and you'll have basically both wing tips complete and the wings for this aircraft are completely done we will not be doing anything further with them for the rest of the build so thank goodness for that i think the wings are the absolute worst part of the build to actually do so it's nice to get those out of the way uh, but anyways that right there is going to conclude layer number seven and with that let's go ahead and move on to layer number eight all right guys moving into our next layer we have layer number eight for layer eight to go ahead and get started with here we're going to be going ahead and going to the front up here after this black concrete block we're going to go ahead and go up from an angle place down a black stained glass block followed by three more blocks back so you have a total of four there for the front moving to the rear center line we're just going to go ahead and go up from the stone top slab with a stone full block stone up down stair and a stone top slab like that to go and finish off the rear there with that done, going back up to the front, we're going to place down a light gray, or sorry, a black stained glass paint at the side of this block, and then one, two, three blocks on the side here, and then off to the side here again, one, two, 
black stained glass panes on the side of these, those two blocks there, and then a polished black stone stair. Going back from the stair, we're gonna place down one, two, three stone blocks, and then after that, we're gonna then place down a stone slab here, followed by a row of one, two, three, four stone stairs. Over here on the left side, it's gonna be a stone brick stair. On the right side, a stone stair. Then on both sides, one, two, three, four, five, and six stone stairs back. Over here on the left side, stone brick stair. On the right side, a stone stair. After those stone stairs, we're gonna go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four stone stairs back, polished black stone um, stair, a black stained glass block, and a polished black stone stair. If you don't plan on doing an interior for this aircraft, we're gonna go ahead and place down a black concrete block on the inside here to close off that black stained glass from being able to see into the void inside the aircraft. With that done, we're gonna go then count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 stone stairs back, followed by a black stained glass block and a black concrete block like that on the inside there. And we're going to continue on by placing down two uh, stone stairs back. Over here on the left side, it's going to be a stone brick stair on top of that black concrete, a stone stair, and then another stone brick stair on top of this black concrete here. Over here on the right side, it's going to be a uh, polished black stone stair, black stained glass, Polished black stone stair and a black stained glass block or block of, of black concrete on the inside there of that glass block like so. We then want to take our stone stairs and we're just going to go ahead and count back one, two, three, four, five, and six stone stairs back. At this point, come off those stone stairs. We're going to place down one, two, uh, and side walls, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three light gray stained glass panes going back. And on the inside here, are the walls and light gray stained glass panes. We're going to place down five stone blocks followed by an additional one and two that stick out past those. We're going to go then place down uh, an anisite wall like this, followed by a second one, and then two light gray stained glass panes back like so. On the inside here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four stone blocks, followed by a second and a third, so that we, so we have a total of six stone blocks there on the side there. Then a stone upside down stair, and a stone top side like that to go and complete um, that right there for the fuselage. Uh, go ahead and go over everything, make sure we're not missing anything. Uh, the one thing we do have on the back here is this little um, icon, which is uh, basically this uh, U.S. kind of Air Force uh, National Star insignia, which is all present on all U.S. aircraft. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the materials necessary to make this, and I'll see you guys here in a sec to go ahead and make this banner. All right, guys, so to make this banner design, it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to need a loom, three black banners, and seven light gray dye. We're going to go into our loom for our first banner. We're going to place in our black banner into our loom and our light gray dye. We're going to select the line horizontally across the top, line through the center, and line across the top or the bottom here like that to go ahead and create this striped bottom banner like so. After that, we're going to put our black banners back into our loom, and we're just going to go ahead and select the bottom left-hand corner of our first banner, and then the top left-hand corner like that for this banner, and then our next banner here, select the bottom right, and the top right like that to go ahead and create this design here. These banners here are going to be positioned right here on this section of the aircraft. So we're going to go ahead and count to our second stair from last. On this rear section here, we're going to place down our striped banner. These two banners here with the black facing toward each other. And then the uh, banner just like that. And then our striped banner. And right there, we'll make that National Star insignia. And that will be present on both sides of the aircraft like so. And with that, that's going to wrap up this layer. Take a look at it from above here. Just make sure you have the differences that are on both sides translated accordingly. And this is what it should look like from the top-down view. Anyways, that right there is going to conclude this layer. Let's go ahead and move on to layer number 9. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number 9. For layer 9, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place a nice stone slab on top of this black, second black stained glass block here, and then two stone blocks back from that, like that for the front. We're going to then go to the back tail here, we're going to go ahead and place a nice stone block that goes up from this top slab at an angle, then a second block back, so you have two, and then two stone top slabs like that to go and wrap off the back there. Going back up to the front and moving to the sides, we're going to place down a daylight detector, turn this to night mode, followed by a stone slab back, and then a stone stair like so. And then we're going to go, go back from the stone stair with two stone full blocks. To the sides here, we're going to place down a light gray carpet on top of that, uh, on top of this black stained glass pane here, and then a daylight detector turned to night mode on top of that stair. We then want to place down two stone slabs back, then a stone stair, and then a stone corner stair right here coming off that stair like so. We're going to go then place down a row of one, two, three stone full blocks. Over here on the left side, we're going to have three, or sorry, two stone brick walls, or stone brick full blocks with stone buns on the sides there, then four stone brick walls, and then two stone brick blocks here with stone buns on the sides. We also want to make sure that underneath the stone brick walls, we're going to place down stone blocks, and on the sides of these walls also, just like that to close off any gaps that may be apparent. 
Now over here on the right side, we're just going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stone blocks like that along the side there, making this nice and solid. And so we just have this door over here on the left side like that. Now once we get to this point, both sides are going to be the same again. We're going to place down one, two, three, four stone blocks back, followed by a row of one, two, and three black concrete that goes across. And on the sides of these black concrete blocks here to both ends, we're going to place down stone buttons like so. Taking our stone blocks, we're going to go ahead and count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 blocks back. We're going to go ahead and go to our right side. We're going to place down three black concrete blocks with stone buttons on the side ones. And then on this side here, so it's just going to be three stone full blocks. After that, both sides, we're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 stone blocks back. Then two andesite walls, and two like gray stained glass panes going back like that. We then want to place down one, two, three, four stone blocks on the side there of those walls and panes, and then one, two, three more, or sorry, actually four more stone blocks to go past there like so. We're going to go then place down a stone upside down stair, followed by a stone top slab, and then one and two iron trap doors. Then going next to this, go next to this last stone block here, we're going to place down one, two, and three iron trap doors like that out to the sides there. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for uh, this layer, layer number uh, 9. And take a look at it, we have this so far here for the fuselage. As you can see, it's starting to take shape and uh, we are almost done with it. But anyways, that right there is it for layer 9. Let's go ahead and move on to layer number 10. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 10. For layer 10 to go ahead and get started with here, we want to go ahead and begin by placing down an iron trap door on top of this second stone block here on top. Followed by two stone slabs back. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a row of stone blocks that's going to go back... 21 and then we're going to go and then place down a snow or sorry white concrete block and then we're going to go and then place down another row of stone blocks that's going to go all the way back here to our tail and this is going to be a total of 49 blocks back from that snow block with the skeleton skull here at the very end now once we have that done going back up to our fronts we're going to go and start moving out to the sides here placing down a iron trap door to the side of that stone slab then two uh and three stone slabs back followed by a row of one two three four five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, and 67, uh, stone stairs back. I'm going to go double check my count here, but it's a long row and 67 blocks is our total count from going back from that stone slab. So 67 stairs in total back and we're just going to go ahead and place down a stone slab here on the very end. Now also going back up to the front here, we're going to go ahead and go to the tops of these stone brick um, blocks and walls and we're going to go ahead and just place down a row of eight of stone pressure plates on top of them as well as putting stone pressure plates on top of all of our black concrete blocks here for these doors um, and that's just going to be done for each one of our doors, so we have three doors, two on the right side, one on the left side, and that right there will basically wrap that up. Now after this point, we want to go ahead and then return to uh, the back section here. We're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a stone, or actually we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some polished, an or some, yeah, polished anisite here for our flaps. We're going to place down two polished anisite slabs like this, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six stone slabs going forward. We're going to go ahead and then place down another set of two polished anisite slabs. This time followed by a stone stair. And then one, two, three, four stone slabs going forward. We're going to place down a polished inside slab here. One forward, and then we're going to go forward. One, two, three stone blocks. And then one, two stone slabs just like that. We're going to place down another stone slab here to the side. And we're going to then uh, continue on by placing down a uh, stone full block right here. Followed by one, two, three stone full blocks back and we're going to go ahead and actually place down a stone top slab here and then a polished anisite top slab just like that and once we get to that point actually sorry there's going to be two polished anisite top slabs right there and then once we get to this point here uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone top slab coming off the side here followed by two stone upside down stairs a st two stone top slabs and then a polished anisite top slab then continuing on, uh, we're going to place down a stone top slab coming off the side of this, or this stair here. So one, two, three, four, and five stone top slabs back. 
that I'll polish the inside top slab. And out to the side here again, we're going to go to the second one, one, two, three, four stone top slabs. And then they're polished hand side top slab like that to the sides there. And right there, right there, we'll basically conclude what we have there for our horizontal state ledgers so far. And um, at this point, what we want to go ahead and take a look at next is going to be... Um, actually, I think that's it. Uh, just double checking to make sure everything is good to go. Everything does appear to be good to go. So that right there will conclude what we have there for layer 10. And with that, let's go ahead and move on to layer number 11. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 11. For layer 11, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to begin by going ahead and go into this white concrete block here. We're going to place down two stone, or sorry, two snow pieces on top of each other like that to make that section there. We're going to go ahead and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks forward. Actually, sorry, it should be eight. And our eighth block here, we're going to be placing down a polished black stone stair just like this like that and that right there will basically conclude that section there we're going to go ahead and work our way back to the tail now on top of this um stone block we're going to place down an iron trap door two polished inside blocks forward and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten stone blocks forward a stone stair and then a stone slab followed by two iron trap doors like that for the front there with that done, we're going to then move into our horizontal stabilizers. For these, we're going to go ahead and place down two iron trap doors here. One, two. And then we're going to then place down one, two, three, four. After that, we want to go ahead and take our slabs. We're going to place down two slabs here. Iron trap door on both sides of those slabs. We then want to place down a row of four. One, two, three, four stone slabs. Then a polished andesite slab. We're going to go then place down one, two, three, four stone slabs. A narrow polished andesite slab. And we're going to then place down one, two, three stone slabs, polished andesite slab, and then lastly, one, two stone slabs, and then a polished andesite slab, like that there. And that will pretty much wrap up your horizontal stabilizers there for uh, basically the rear of the aircraft. And at this point here, that is going to wrap that up. Uh, there's nothing else for us to do there for layer number 11 for the build. With that, we're going to be moving into our final layers, which are going to basically involve pretty much doing the entire tail. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the necessary materials, and we'll go ahead and move into our last final layers. All right, guys, moving into our final layers here, we have layers 12 through 23. Now, the last few things I want to add on for the previous layer are just going to be going ahead and adding some buttons here. We're just going to place down one, two virtual buttons, skip a space, and then our virtual button there just for a little bit of extra detail there for some little bits and pieces on the top there of the aircraft. But with that out of the way, uh, we're going to go ahead and now turn our attention here to the tail and basically build the tail up here. So, what we want to do to begin with is we're going to go ahead and place down two polished inside blocks on top of these two here. And after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and take our stone blocks, go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight stone blocks forward like so and we're going to then place down a stone stair just like that after we have that done we're going to then place down a near two polished inside blocks up like so one thing also is we're going to be going ahead and taking stone buttons during this time and placing them down on the sides here of these polished inside blocks just like so now once we have that done uh we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some like racing was paints on this top row here we're going to place down a like racing was paint for the time being we then want to go ahead and take our stone blocks. We're going to go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stone blocks forward, just like that. Our next row here is going to be another light gray stainless paint up right here. Two polished anti full blocks here, and we're going to then place down a stone button on both sides of this polished anti block. Then we're going to go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone full blocks, just like that. Next row up, we're going to place down two polished inside blocks like so. Stone buttons on both sides of this one here. And we're going to then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stone blocks forward like so. And on your seventh one here, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass paint like that. Next row going up, polished inside block. Second one like so. Stone buttons on both sides of the second one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Stone blocks forward. Next uh, row up, actually one thing we are going to go ahead and adjust here is we do want to go ahead and grab ourselves some TNT blocks and we're actually going to be going ahead and replacing uh, the th third, fourth, and fifth stone blocks from the front there with TNT blocks along the side there like so for the first part of the American flag. After that, we're going to then go up another set of two polished anti blocks, stone buttons here on both sides like that, and we're going to go then place down two stone blocks forward, two TNT blocks, and then go ahead and grab ourselves some blue concrete. We're going to place down a blue concrete block on both sides here with a stone button on the blue concrete block like that. We're going to go then place down a stone block here. Going up from this snow block, we're going to place down a light gray stainless pane 
and then one, two, three, four, five stone blocks, followed by two polished anti blocks here on the end. Stone buttons on both sides of those polished anti blocks. Again, going ahead and going up, we're going to place down in there two polished anti blocks going up. Stone buttons on both sides of this first one here. And we're going to place down a light gray sting must paint coming off the block like that toward the back. And the one, two, three, four, and five stone blocks going forward. We're going to place down there like gray sting must paint here, followed by two polished anti blocks forward. Stone buttons here on both sides like that. And then we're going to go one, two, three, and four stone blocks forward from this point here. Now, at this point, uh, for the tail flash up on top here, you can go ahead and kind of decide what you guys want to do for this. Now, for me, I went ahead and did mine in red. You guys can do it in really whatever color you guys want to do it in. Or do some cool patterns or something up here. But basically, all we're doing here is placing down one, two, three, four, five, six uh, colored blocks of our choosing. And then, uh, especially if you have a colored block that matches a wall, so like orange uh, would work good, black um, and red works good because we have our brick walls but you can also use red nether brick which actually kind of works a little bit better so we have a red nether brick there and then we're just going to go and grab ourselves some dark oak wood buttons and just to kind of make this look a little bit more interesting here and we can actually use polished blackstone uh we're just going to kind of place some buttons here on the side there for maybe some writing or something like that on the tail flash there usually the tail flash is used to designate what base this aircraft belongs to and um all that and as i mentioned before i think red is mcguire or charleston um basically Air Force Base. So uh, basically that right there, pretty straightforward and simple. And then from this, we're just going to go and take our anisite walls and we're just going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six across the top there. On top of the six of those anisite walls, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six stone blocks, followed by a stone upside down stair on the very top. And coming off this stone upside down stair, we're going to place down a birchwood sign on both sides of that stair. And then come off that, we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate. Like so. And then also a end rod. So one, two, end rods like that going forward. And then for the back here, we're going to place down another inside wall. Birchwood sign on both sides of that wall. And then just a skeleton skull. Like this, coming off the wall. And with that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layers 12 through 23. And we have basically the tail built. Uh, one thing also to go ahead and mention is the positioning of basically the MAGCOM for this aircraft, which is AMC, which stands for Air Mobility Command. Um, and also the tail number of the aircraft. So we can go ahead and grab the materials we need for this. And basically, very simply, um, to go ahead and place these, we're going to go ahead and place down our uh, MAGCOM, which is the AMC. So AMC. So we'll place it down right there in that position. And then the five digit uh, number, uh, basically tail number will go just like that on the aircraft. So again, it doesn't have to be exactly what I did. You guys can go ahead and make it up whenever you guys really want here for the tail number. Um, but uh, the Magicom is actually used by the Air Force. It's actually a, a Air Force thing. This tail number here is just a random made up one. Um, but yeah, AMC there, Air Mobility Command, which uh, most of these aircraft are gonna belong to. And then you have the um, tail number there five digit tail number there for the aircraft so um, that right there is pretty much all we have there for uh, the main structure here of the aircraft we do have one thing we are going to cover also which is going to be this um, cable here that runs from the front right all the way to the back and connects up to the tail so I will be talking about that and how to go ahead and go about doing that but um, with that though uh, that right there is the main structure of the complete. Let's go ahead and move on to that cable. All right, guys. So for the cable here, that's going to be right on the side of the aircraft. Where we want to go ahead and start is we're going to go ahead and go on the right side. And where the banners are, the space between the, this period here and the A, so this section here. Or we can just count stone blocks. So after the corner stair, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stone blocks. We're going to place down an air brick fence post here. At this point, we're going to go ahead and then build our line that's going to lead up to the tail. We're going to go ahead and go off this snare brick fence post with one, two, three, and four barrier blocks. We're going to go and then go up and back at an angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to go ahead and go up from this barrier block here and place down one. And then we're going to go over at an angle and place down one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to go ahead and go up and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven then we're going to go up and back one two three four five six seven and eight we're going to go up again one two three four and five and then we're going to go over 
one, two. We're going to go up and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to go up again. One, two, three, and four. Like that. And that should connect up to the tail just like that. Now, once you get to this point, we're going to then grab ourselves some stone buttons. And we're going to go ahead and basically use stone buttons here on the barrier blocks to go ahead and basically detail this up. So we're going to place down one, two, three, four stone buttons here. Then one, two, three, four. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to go do four stone buttons there. Then one, two, three, four on top. On the side here, one, two, three. Actually, we'll place down the button here on the inside here. So on this side like that for that block there. And then we're going to place down three stone buttons here. Then three up. Then one, two, three, four like this on the sides. Then one, two, three up. One, two, three, four on the sides. One, two, three, four on top. One, two, three, and four on the sides. And then one, two, three on top. Then one, two, three, four on the sides. One, two, three, four on top, and then one, two, three, and four on the sides there like that for the cable. So pretty straightforward design there, nothing too complex. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and basically make this diagonal that leads all the way up to that point there for the tail. And once we let our barrier blocks here kind of dissipate and take a look at it, we should get a nice cable there that runs uh, the length of the aircraft right down the side there. But anyways, that right there is going to cover both our in-flight, or I should say, or just our in-flight version of the aircraft, um, and basically just the aircraft in general. Uh, at this point now, we'll be going ahead and moving into basically doing the boom arms in both the extended and uh, raised up position. So go ahead and take a look to uh, take time to look at the chapters of this video um, and the time encoder bar, and skip ahead to wherever you guys need to go. Uh, so for uh, our beginning portion, we'll be starting with the um, refueling boom. Uh, pulled up and then we're going to go ahead and also do the version with the refueling probe extended downwards so go ahead and skip ahead to wherever you guys want to have and um with that let's go ahead and move into the boom arm uh, retracted all right guys so we're going ahead and move into building our refueling probe in the uh brought up or kind of stowed away um configuration to go ahead and get started with this we're going to be going ahead and place a nice smooth st uh stone slab full block right here followed by a skeleton skull to both sides of it just like that once that's done, we're going to go ahead and also place down a slab on the bottom here. And then a stone slab come off this um, block right here. We're going to then place down two stone top slabs that go up like so. And then we're going to place down birchwood signs on the sides here of these three stone slabs. Like this here to both sides. So just like that. After that's done, we're going to then go up to a stone slab. So like this. And on the bottom of the stone slab, we're going to place down a lever and flick it toward that stone slab there. We're going to then go up to a stone top slab. We're going to place down two top slabs like so. Up to another stone slab. And on the bottom of the stone slab, we're going to place down a lever. Flick it toward the back. And we're going to then place down a stone slab coming off this one like so. So you have two there. We're going to go up and do a stone top slab like so. And then we want to go ahead and go up again. And we're going to place down a polished black stone stair like this in that section there. On the bottom of the stair, we're going to place down a lever, flick it toward that slab like that, and then come off the polished black stone stair, we're going to place down a slab like that. We're going to go ahead and go up again, place down a stone, a row of two of stone top slabs, and we're going to then place down a iron trap door here, stone slab, stone full block, stone slab, or stone top slab, and then a stone slab on top of that, and then a narrow stone slab back, like so. On both sides of the stone slab, we're going to place down a a uh, birchwood sign and then a wither skeleton skull like that and we're going to then place down a polished black stone stair which will be going up from these slabs like this out to the sides here and they're just going to go ahead and go up like this out to both sides and then we're just going to place down a polished black stone slab here on the very ends like that and once we have that all complete there that is going to basically wrap it up for our uh, probe or I should say our probe our uh refueling arm here they're in the upward position or kind of stored position like so and uh, with that we'll be going ahead and now moving into the version of the aircraft with the refueling probe actually extended and now uh, going ahead and moving into our extended uh, probe we're going to be going ahead and going down to this section here right after this stone full block we're going to place down a smooth stone full block like this top slab on the bottom there and a skeleton skull to both sides of this full block after that we're going to go ahead and place down two stone slabs which will be coming off this one two and we're going to then place down wither, or, sorry, birchwood signs on the sides here of them, like so. And then iron trap doors there on the bottom of the slabs, so one, two. We're going to go and then drop down to two stone top slabs, 
signs on the sides of those like so and we're going to then place down our iron trap doors we're going to go and drop down again to a row of slabs so row two this time so two slabs then on the bottom of the slab here we're going to place down a lever flicked backwards like so come out the lever we're going to place down two stone top slabs a lever on top of this top slab flicked toward the front there we're going to go and drop down again from those top slabs to a half slab and after the half slab we're going to place down a polished blackstone stair on the bottom of the polished blackstone stair we're going to place down an iron trap door and then going up from it we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron bars right here and we're going to place down one two three four and we're going to place down four iron bars up and then we're going to switch to another brick fence post and we're going to place down another brick fence post like this that connects up to the top there like that for the retractable um or basically the cable that would pull the arm back up and all that stuff then coming off this iron trap door here we're going to place down two uh stone top slabs followed by a redstone appear like this with the notches spread apart we're going to drop, a drop down again to two stone half slabs, like so. We then want to go and place down a iron trap door on the bottom of this slab here. And then coming off that slab, we're going to go and place down a stone top slab, and then a stone full block. And on top of the stone top slab, we're going to place down an iron trap door. We're going to place down a top slab like this, or sorry, half slab, sorry, and then a top slab on the bottom. And we're going to then place down one slab that comes off that top slab. We're going to go ahead and grab some birchwood signs, and on the sides here of this top slab, we're going to place down our birchwood signs, as well as an iron trap door on top of this block here. To the sides of this uh, slab here, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished blackstone stair. Like this to both sides. And then we're just going to go ahead and go up one more stair, like this, up at an angle. Like so, and then our slab there on the top like that, for the stabilizers there for the probe. And then we want to go ahead and grab our diorite walls and we're going to place down one, two, then drop down again, one, two, and then we can switch back to our red sandstone walls. Place down a red sandstone wall, drop down one, two, and go back, and then our wither skeleton skull here for the tip. Now you can go ahead and change the length of this part right here. This is the hose. I wouldn't go much further than what I have here. But you can kind of uh, angle it and adjust it however you need to actually fit into the aircraft. So, for example, if you need to have it more at like an angle, coming down like this then you can also do that um, so again kind of just whatever works uh, for whatever aircraft you're trying to refuel here but we just have kind of in a standard configuration which looks something like that um, but again you can kind of go in and adjust it however you need it to get it to uh, fit properly and sit right for um, whatever aircraft you are working on or having this attached up to you or if you're not then just have it fly in the wind I guess uh, but anyways that right there is going to basically conclude uh, basically both uh, formations there with the boom arm and the last thing for us to do is to go ahead and move on to adding the land gear for those of you that are interested in doing the land gear. So uh, with that let's go ahead and move into the landing gear. Alright guys so moving into our landing gear we're going to be going ahead and start with our front gear. For our front gear real simple we're going to go ahead and go to this lever down here and right in front of it we're going to place down a uh, stone stair that comes down like so. We then want to go ahead and go down from the stone stair and we're going to place down an iron trap door that kind of goes across like this. And then we're going to then place down a lever on this iron trap door that aims toward the front. We're going to go and delete these one and two stone blocks right in here. And we're going to place down a diorite wall here, followed by one that drops down. And then a smooth quartz top slab like so, followed by a block of coal to both sides of that top slab. On both sides of this uh, diorite wall, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. And then a birchwood fence gate came off this wall, opened up toward it like that. We then want to take this white banner design, which is basically a white banner for black border and a black stripe for the center. And we're just going to place this on both sides here of these blocks of coal to give it a little bit more of a um, nice kind of complete wheel type look. And that right there will basically do it for our front landing gear. And with that, we're going to be going ahead and now moving on to our rear landing gear. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our rear landing gear. Rear landing gear, we have a little bit more going on here. Uh, the first thing we're going to go ahead and start with doing is we're going to go ahead and go to this section here. So this stone block. So we have kind of our underside of the wing here. We're going to go to this stone block and this is where we're going to start it. We're going to place down a diorite wall in this section like so. Now at this point here, we're going to drop down from that. We're going to place down a smooth quartz upstone stair. Or sorry, smooth quartz full block rather. And then we're going to place down a smooth quartz top slab on the bottom here of it like so. Now once we have that done, we're going to place down a polished black stone upstone stair to the side here. And a stair coming off that. And then two stairs like this on top, back to back. And we're going to do the same thing over here on this side as well to go and form the wheel like that. We're going to place down a quartz top slab of smooth quartz forward and then a upside down stair here with a skeleton skull coming off that upside down stair. 
Toward the back here, we're going to place down a smooth quartz top sub here. And we're going to do the same thing for our wheels, which will be two polished black stone stairs like this. Two stairs on top of each other like so. And same thing over here. Just like that. And after that, it's all done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row, or actually it's going to be a lever here. It's going to be flicked toward that quartz full block. And we then want to go ahead and place down a end rod, which will be running in between these, just like that. Now, with that all done, uh, we then want to go ahead and uh, continue on by going ahead and grabbing some stone slabs here. We're going to uh, turn this uh, stone, we're going to place down a stone top slab here. And then replace this iron trapdoor for stone full block. And then this iron trapdoor for stone full block as well, which is going to lead down to a stone upside down stair, like that, for the doors here that would open up. And we can go ahead and then place down a lever here and have it positioned like so, so it connects up to that uh, slab there. And then we're going to delete these iron trapdoors here and these stone full blocks here for a little bit of the opening there into the landing gear. And we're going to go ahead and try to replace the stone full blocks here. With stone top slabs around here just to kind of create a little bit more dimension to our landing gear bay and there's some spots that we cannot change just due to the fact of how this is kind of positioned and all that stuff and built um, but we're just going to kind of change where we can uh, by putting in some top slabs here to kind of give it a little bit more dimension here in this under section this really isn't too much of a priority but if you can do it um, kind of just helps add a little bit more Authenticity or off off the maybe it's a little bit more authentic to say the very least and Something like that really is what we're kind of going for there you see we didn't change the top too much But we kind of create a little bit of a divot inside there which kind of create, creates a uh, you know landing gear type space So something kind of like that is what we're going for and we get that designed there for those wheels So moving back to this section here. Uh, we are going to go ahead and just fill this in right here We're just gonna fill in that stone there and also this right here. So we only want this section here kind of actually like uh, broken out a little bit like so. But once we get to this point here, we're going to then break these stone full blocks out. Just like that. And we're going to break these iron trap doors and these four stone blocks out as well. So we're going to kind of break this section in here kind of in line with our stairs. And we're going to break this top slab here. And we're going to have this replaced with a slab. Like so. And this right here. This section will uh, convert all this. We're going to break this row here. And then this right here is all going to be smooth quartz. So we're going to replace this section up above here with smooth quartz blocks. Just like this. And then we can go ahead and drop down back into the wheel well here. And we're just going to build the walls up with smooth quartz as well surrounding it. So like that. And we can go ahead and replace these ones here. And this right here and this right here is supposed to be kind of the wheel well of where the landing gear would kind of fold into now we're going to place down a um, we're going to place down a direct wall which is going to go ahead and go in this section here and then place down a narrow direct wall over here we then want to place down a lever here to both sides followed by some end rods they're going to be going up like so or actually uh, yeah, just like this. And we're going to then place down a row of direct walls on the inside there. So it kind of creates a little bit of a wheel well type design here. Um, and these slabs here we can replace with some quartz slabs. And we're going to just place down some quartz top slabs on the top there. And we're actually going to replace these end rods with upside down stairs. So just like this. And these end rods are going to drop down like that from there. And we're going to then take stone blocks and we're going to do a row of one two three and four stone full blocks like this levers like so and we want to go then place down stone top slabs coming off the sides here at that and angle down like that for the doors here that would uh, theoretically open up and expose this area of the landing gear and this section here I'm just gonna go and fill in uh, we're not gonna go ahead and create that indent that I was talking about earlier uh, we're just gonna have the kind of this, this gap that opens up here and extends out to this um, landing gear arm uh, which we can go ahead and place on a quartz full block on top of that. Just make sure that if we do do that, we go up on top here and we do replace it with the stone pressure plates like that just to kind of hide that quartz. 
But basically that right there is kind of your landing gear well and what you want to do there for the landing gear. You can take that same design and copy it over to the other side. The last thing we have to do here is some banners, which I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and make real quick. So let me grab the materials and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys. So to make these banners here for the wheels, super simple. We're going to need a loom, two black banners, two white dye, and four black dye. We're going to place down a loom, our black banners in our uh, loom, and our white dye. We're going to select the line on the left side vertically and the line on the right side uh, vertically like that for our black or for our white dye. Each of these banners is going to go back into our loom. We're going to take our black dye, do the line across the top, and the line across the bottom like so. And same thing for this one here, line across the top and bottom to go ahead and create these two banners like so. Very simply, these banners are going to be placed uh, on the sides here of these two polished black stone stairs, basically facing toward each other, just like that on both sides. So pretty simple, straightforward uh, design there for that landing gear and those banners and it just kind of adds a little bit more detail to those wheels and makes them look a little bit more like wheels especially when you look at them from a little bit of a distance but anyways that right there is going to conclude my landing gear here for the kc-135 and with that that's going to conclude my tutorial for both the in-flight and landed versions of this aircraft well if you guys do enjoy the tutorial and are able to put it to good use if you do end up using this build i do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it this will be thing from a sound of the build tweet to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites as long as you guys give me proper credit for the build you're free for projects you guys are working on other than that, again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Assassin's Creed for making this tutorial possible. As always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 4 and I'll see you guys next time.